Today we're talking about discovery learning, a constructivist approach to education. Discovery learning is a learning theory from Jerome Broomer and is based on the idea that learning is an active process in which learners construct new ideas or concepts based upon their current or past knowledge. Students interact with the world by exploring and manipulating objects, wrestling with questions and controversies, or performing experiments. This is a constructivist learning theory. Constructivist posits that learning is an active constructive process. Therefore, discovery learning takes place in problem solving situations where learners draw on their own past experiences and existing knowledge to discover facts and relationships and new truths to be learned. Brunner believed that students are more likely to remember concepts and knowledge that they have discovered on their own. Brunner states that the theory of instruction should address four major aspects. Number one, predisposition towards learning. Brunner felt that experiences should be designed that will help the students be willing and able to learn. Number two, the ways in which a body of knowledge can be structured so that it be most readily grasped by the learner. For example, the spiral curriculum. This can be defined as a course of study in which students will see the same topic throughout their school career with each encounter increasing in complexity and reinforcing previous learning. Number three, the most effective sequence in which to present material. In general, the sequences of learning should move from inactive, which is hands-on or concrete, to iconic, which is visual, to symbolic, which is the description in words or mathematical symbols. Number four, the nature and pacing of rewards and punishment. Brunner suggests that movements from extrinsic rewards, such as teacher praise, towards intrinsic rewards, inherent in problem solving or understanding the concepts is desirable. Brunner's work is closely related to Piaget, Papert and Vygotsky.